Hi guys, welcome to Product Orders Point. Okay, so in this tutorial, let's learn how to pick an image from gallery or a camera and then convert the picked image in Base64 format. So by converting Base64 format, it is very useful when you want to store an image in Base64 string on your server database. Okay, so let's get started by con picking an image and then converting it to Base64 string. Okay, so here I have created a new Flutter project in my Android Studio IDE and this is my new laptop when, on which I am recording. So I have just gave a random name for my Flutter project. So new laptop first project. Okay, so here I have just removed all the default code that is the counter code given by Flutter and, uh, and customize it as per my need. So for now I have just made use of scaffold widget. So inside scaffold widget I have a elevated button. So when this button is being pressed, so this uh, function will get called. Okay. So on the other hand, I have just added a libraries that are needed to pick images. So to add libraries, so just go to pop specification.yaml file and under dependencies section, you need to add image picker. Okay. And that's it. So after adding that, just hit this pop get button. Okay. And then of uh, after adding this you just need to configure your android and ios permissions so for that just go to android folder app sources main android manifest and over here you need to add a permission that is request legacy external storage and make it true okay so this is the line you just need to add in android folder and in ios folder just go to ios runner info playlist and over here you just need to add these three permissions so first one is uh, photo gallery so this this is to say that i want to access our photo library and then camera as we are going to use camera to capture image from camera then we need this and then uh, we also need a micro uh, microphone because uh, in some phones uh, microphone will get automatically on and if you forgot to add this line your camera will not work so you just need to add this microphone also so these are the three permission that you need to add on ios folder okay so you can just close it let's pick a image when this button has been pressed so as i said when the button has been pressed this function will get called and over here i have imported uh, image picker okay so over here final x image is equal to await and over here we need to pass an instance of image picker so let's create a image picker instance so let's say final image picker underscore picker is equal to image picker okay so instance is been ready so you can just make use of this instance and call a function that is pick image okay and we need to pick image from two sources one is either image source dot gallery and other you can just use camera if you want okay so i will just use gallery for now okay so over here if image is equal to equal to null then just return Okay, so suppose if a user clicks on this button and do not select any images from the gallery and he just return or take back then it means that user do not uh, pick any image you just need to ignore it. Okay, so let's use this and check now. Okay. Okay, so you can see I can pick a image. Okay, so now picked image I want to uh, convert it into base64 so before that i need to convert or show it in or store the image picked image in a variable so let's do that so for that here i will just create one more file and name it as image file okay so it is of type nullable and when the image is been picked i want to save this image in this file okay so before saving this i will just convert this image into base64 okay so to convert it into base64 first of all we need to get the bytes of this image okay so for that i will just make use of util 8 list and then 
image byte is equal to await image dot get read as byte okay so i am just reading this file bytes okay so the bytes of this image will get stored in this variable so now i can use this bytes to convert it into base64 so to convert it into base64 so here i will just make use of string base64 is equal to base64 dot encode image byte okay so let's print this and check okay so i'm just picking a image by clicking on this button okay so you can see our base64 string is been ready of the picked image okay so now i want to show the picked image on a image widget over here so let's do that so for that here i will just define a new variable so final image temp path is equal to file image dot path image dot path okay so this will give us the temporary image path of the picked image so the picked image will be stored in a cache memory so this will be a cache memory so let me show you where it is been stored okay okay so i'm just picking a file okay so you can see this is the path where our image is been stored in a cache memory of my project cache memory folder okay so now we have a path of this uh, image so now i want to just make use of this path and show it in our uh, image widget okay so for that this path i will just store it in this variable okay so set state this dot image fell is equal to image temp path okay so now let me come to our widget part and i will just add a widget over here so our widget is image dot fell and over here image fell okay so we can't directly use this because whenever a user opens an app so this will be empty and you may see an error so let me show you so you can see it is passing an error so let's fix this so to fix that first of all we need to check if this is empty or if it has any data so for that first here image file if it is equal to equal to null then i will just show a empty container okay and if it is not null then i will just show our image widget okay so now if i hot refresh so let's check okay so i'm just picking a image okay so you can see the picked image is been shown and the picked image base64 is also generated over here with the path of the image okay so let me decrease the size of this image so you can just define over here height and width yeah okay so that's all for this video tutorial so thanks for watching please do subscribe protocol as point and the one thing is the complete source code of this tutorial is on my website protocodespoint.com you can just check the link in the description